tutto questo era un cazzo Andava sempre così Dal lunedì al venerdì Gente di in tasca niente Però era meglio di un film Mike Tyson, Loud e James Hunt Stallone al Koga Bandam Mi guardo adesso ripiendo E penso che tutto questo era un cazzo Era di moda andare a ballare All'acqua fanno il cucurico Musica alta in ogni locale Poche parole come Robocop 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. The Cavaliers again playing host, continuing their homestand in this one. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Rockets team. A year ago, they each gained a victory at home, but couldn't secure a win on the road. It's not often we get to see this matchup, but it is a doozy when we do. Just two powerhouse teams facing off. Really easy to tell that this is an important game, Greg. I mean, I don't know if the crowd will get a chance to take a breath in this one. Here's the starting group for Houston. Anderson is down low with Capella. Harden and Gordon teaming up in the backcourt. And it's Ariza in at the three slot. Now here's Wayne. Rose a screen on Anderson. Here's Wade. Well-seasoned teams coming into this one tonight, Clark. A lot of veterans on both sides. I know you think that's important for both teams. You know, experience, Kevin, is invaluable, and you only get that from going through the wars time and time again. So veteran players are able to bring that on a night-to-night -night basis, and uh, they understand the nuances and what it takes to prepare to be ready to play. And so the little things become the big things, and veterans understand that. And so the Houston Rockets get the first points of the ball game. Count that one. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Well, it's a thing of beauty watching him attack the defense like that. I mean, they wanted no part of him on that layup. Nice way to start the evening. His number's getting called, and for good reason. Well, you know, Greg, they can count on him to get buckets. I mean, he's getting the ball because he's very efficient when he has it. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Back to Crowder. Cleveland moving the ball around. Rose. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Rose has got his second basket of the game. It's Ariza on the wing. From outside, off the mark. Or Cleveland had gone two for four from the field so far today. LeBron drives in. Ooh, just powered it down with both hands. You no, know, he's not going to mess that one. Oh, no, not this fella. He is a superb finisher. Yeah, near the hoop, he's an absolute monster. Harden against Rose. Outside Gordon. That's up a three. Gordon with another miss. Or Cleveland, they've gone three or five shooting the ball so far. Outer dishes to Wade. Anderson against Crowder. Outside Rose. Five to shoot. Kept alive. Out to Wade. Outside Crowder. Outside Rose. Puts up a three. Good on the three-point shot. Rose has got seven. Rockets trailed by four. And when you watch those Rockets team, you can see just how explosive they are on the offensive end. Almost everyone on the floor can hurt you from deep. And they all know their role and execute it to a tee. The drive by LeBron. And the dunk by LeBron. 
And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. And last season, the Rockets' offense was incredible. Then they go and add Chris Paul. They can run a team off the floor if they get hot. Two great playmakers in Paul and Harden. And making a move for Paul made a lot of teams fear what the Rockets can do now on offense. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Thompson, he's checked in for Love. Green comes in for Crowder. Smith checked in for James. And Shumpert in there for Dwayne Wade. It's drilled by seven. It's Harden with the drive. Another miss by Houston. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you should miss. Smith. And the bucket counts. Three-point chance here. And you can sense they're starting to take charge here. You know, they seem to be on the same page out there, Greg. I mean... Definitely, the momentum is with them. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Barber's checked in. Screen by Bonamute. Outside for Nene. Harden outside. Six on the shot clock. Feeds it to Tucker. Here is Mbamute. Hits it from three-point range. Where was the defense? Come on now, where was it? No idea how they gave up that open to look. Horver again, Harden. From deep three-point range. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. Yeah, and fortunately for them, I, I thought the opponent's defense just never showed up. Yeah, you know what? The waters were calm for most of the game. I mean, little resistance felt like they could get any look they wanted at any time. And so the first quarter is in the books. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland. Uh, Amon Shepard is out there with Kyle Corver. Then it's Green. Then it's Thompson. And it's Smith in at the small forward position. That's the group for Cleveland going right now here in the second. And Tucker kicks to Harden. Just four to shoot. Here is Mbamute offline with his three. Outside Corver. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Tucker. Rockets trail by seven. Here's Gordon. Banked in off the glass. Gordon's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Rockets. Well, Cleveland shooting really well. 54% from the floor. And the Cavs over the last few seasons setting records when it comes to three-pointers made. And really, they did a good job of surrounding LeBron with floor spacers. They doubled down on that when they got Channing Fry. And then, when he and Kevin Love play together in the front court, the Cavs can bury you with their long-range shooting. Knocked loose. Shumper with the steal. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Guys, the league may have never seen a player with more control on and off the court than LeBron James. He is a superstar, a playmaker, a coach on the floor. Some say he's the GM. He even has a stake in a player agent business. LeBron says it's his dream to one day own an NBA team. Well, he's certainly getting some practice. Kevin? No question about it, David. He's well on his way. As important a player as we've ever seen in basketball. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Well, Clark, your whole career, you were a fantastic rebounder. Really, at all levels, you played it. 
With that in mind, who do you think are some of the best rebounders right now in the NBA? Well, for me, it's all about the consistency of getting rebounds at both ends of the floor, and I tend to lean towards those guys that get a bunch of offensive rebounds. So in that regard, Kevin Love, uh, Hassan Whiteside, Andre Drummond, those guys are tenacious and highly productive on the offensive board. Obviously, I mean, it would go a long way if he's making his shots. Right now, they're behind, and they certainly could use his help. Wade for three. The shot will not fall. And the Rockets take it the other way. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. The Cavaliers leading by 11. And Crowder with the basket on the assist by Love. Yeah, getting theirs before the defense can set up. Perfect execution. That's how you take advantage of a transition opportunity. Harden with it. Seven points in the game. And it's Gordon penetrating. The kick out to Anderson. Vicious to Gordon. And stolen by Love. Wade passes to LeBron. And the dunk by LeBron. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, I remember G.A. as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. Harden outside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Love. And last year, one of the bigger surprises in the NBA, the Houston Rockets. And remember, absent Dwight Howard, a lot of people thought maybe they're going to take a step back. And in the year where several other super teams in the league kind of took a step forward, the Rockets were able to hold their own. The team has a system that works, and they have bought into it. And top to bottom, they've been making smart decisions. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Basket good. Gordon's got his second bucket. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I, I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. Yeah, I mean, test the hot hand. You're exactly right. I say let those triples fly. There's Rose with the three. Rebounded by Capella. Rockets trail by 12. Harden with it. Wade picks him up. Here's Ariza. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Or Cleveland, they've gone 6 of 10 from the floor. Oh! Hey, hey, hey! Ooh, ooh, wow! He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. And why not? A little salt in the wound. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys reeling and on the ropes. Harden inside the three-point line. Misses off the right iron. No other way to say it. Flat out bad defense. Didn't even contest the shot. Lucky for them, he misfired on it. And the first half is now in the... Te juro que eso no es así Yo nunca tuve una mala intención